I'm Channing Curtis. And I'm Tim Pham. I like that victory Friday. Yeah. It makes it even sweeter. <laughs> Let's head on over to meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Thomas, you've been tracking a lot overnight. You were watching the zags, but you were also watching the skies because uh, what was the phenomenon last night? The aurora said, the borealis, aurora. Ah, nice. the northern lights. Uh, seen from Arizona and even Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, I was, I've just been seeing pictures across Twitter that were like Arizona, Oklahoma, North Carolina. I'm going to pull it up here because I didn't put it in this hit. Uh, which graphic is this? I, I go through this process like every single morning. Here it is. Look at these stunning photos of the Northern Lights. My Twitter feed was very weird yesterday between the OMG, Gonzaga, March Madness, and Northern Lights outside as well. Beautiful views if we saw it in between the cloud cover. NWS Spokane got a nice little glimpse of that from their office out towards Airway Heights. And my buddy in Duluth, Minnesota, David Coy, he uh, texted me last night as well, literally looking straight up. The northern lights were quite far south from last evening. All right, and back to a check of weather where we did get some rainfall and now a little bit of snowfall still drifting through areas, mostly in North Idaho and northeastern Washington. We'll watch for this scattered snow shower or grapple shower development throughout a better part of the day for this Victory Friday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. We want to see the handstand, but that was pretty great too. I love this big celebrations from the Gonzaga locker room after their huge win against UCLA last night. The Zags are now a lead eight bound for the seventh time in program history. So our Travis Green and Andrew Quinn join us now from Las Vegas with more on the team's big win. A game Gonzaga fans will probably never forget. Julian Strother, the game winning three. Yeah, absolutely incredible. The Vegas kid in his hometown <laughs> in the Sweet 16 to send the Zags to the Elite Eight. It's it's movie script it stuff, is. Travis. It is, and his teammates talked about it after the game. I mean, there's moments like that that you can't make up. I mean, those, those are literally the moments you dream of, you know, just to even make a shot like that in March Madness. And then, I mean, just to uh, be back home in Vegas is like the cherry on top. One shining moment, Julian, man, he just just took on all of, all of GU and just buttered that thing. I mean, I can't even really describe what he just did. It's crazy. It's, it's just like that Jalen shot, man. I'm not speechless too much, and I'm pretty speechless after that. I mean, but I am the number one Julian Strother fan forever now. It was up in the air for forever, it felt like, but... Um, you gotta have faith in your teammates, and um, it just looked better right, right from the start. Whenever he shoots it, I think it's going in. I think the rest of the team does as well, and I know he does. Um, so as soon as he let it go, I knew it was going in. Um, especially for him to be home in Vegas and hit that big time with shot, it, it's crazy. I'm very happy for him. Just incredible stuff oh, yeah. right there. Julian Strother saying in the timeout in the huddle, he said, I want that shot, I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna make it. And then he went and did it just incredible yeah. and did that in his hometown how I about mean, that you can't write this stuff yeah i know and uh, you know another storyline of this game is the second half zags they do it again trailed by 13 at half had nine turnovers in the first half that was an ugly game the zags come back and win it again mark few talked about it in the post game presser we just got back to we changed a little bit or and not even changed we just reinforced what our ball screen coverage was supposed to be and uh, they did a much better job in the second half. I mean, their numbers are, you know, 30% field goal and 27 from three is much, much better than it was in the first half. And you know what's crazy about this game, Andrew? Drew Timmy had 36 <laughs> points, two off of a career high, and probably nobody's going to talk about that at all this week. I know. Unbelievable game from Drew. He's now the only player in NCAA history to have 10 20-plus point games in the NCAA tournament. Just an outstanding career gets even better for Drew, but you got to talk about the shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Remarkable stuff. And next up for Gonzaga, UConn, real tough. Tough test. They look scary. We'll hear from Gonzaga and UConn ahead of this matchup later today in the press conference. We'll have all your coverage right here on Crim 2. For now, reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Travis Green. He's Andrew Quinn for Crim 2 Sports.
And the game, at the end of the game, though, a bit of deja vu for the Zags. Remember this two years ago, Jalen Suggs hit this iconic three-pointer to avoid triple overtime and beat UCLA in the Final Four, sending them to the championship. And then just last night, Julian Strother also hit a three to secure the Zags' win over the Bruins in March Madness. On Twitter, Jalen responded to the comparison being made between the two and called him and Julian twins. Well, Zach Nation from all over came to Vegas to show their support for the team last night. That's right. It's definitely a testament to the Zag spirit. So take a listen. It's incredible, man. This community is so supportive, and especially when it's in Vegas, man. It's just like it's South Vegas or South Spokane, more like. <laughs> You know, I love coming here. I'm so happy to be here and go Zags, man. We watch every game together. Every yep. game together. Every game. When I got tickets, like, ask, the, ask the pops to come along. Yep. Doing it. And we got to go Zags, baby. Go yep. Zags. Let's go. Woo. Well, there aren't many fans that are more loyal, though, than the ones that you'll find here in the kennel. So back here in Spokane, there's a group of women that are definitely proving that point. So you might remember from earlier this week, we told you about the Grandmas for Greg. They're my favorite group. So I absolutely love these women. I am obsessed. They're united in their support of not just Gonzaga, but specifically number 33, Bing Greg. Oh, they love him. I yes. think they called him tall and handsome. They <laughs> and they, they were like, I wish he could be my grandson. Yes. <laughs> so we sent our Kyle Simchuk, who is also very tall, uh, to their watch party last night to capture their reactions to last night's game for the team they love. This was just heart wrenching, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad they won. I'm so glad they won. It was just wonderful. We knew they were going to win. We never doubted a minute. Wow. And you'll be happy to hear that Ben Gregg is actually planning to visit Grandma's for Gregg's next month. So we're going to be there for that uh, moment and we'll be sure to update you when that happens. Meanwhile, Twitter is blowing up today with fans freaking out over last night's win. So Nicole Hernandez is joining us right now from the newsroom. So Nicole, we heard from some really big names on Twitter, especially a late night talk show host. <laughs> oh yeah, we <laughs> sure did, Channing Tim. So that amazing win last night actually was not enough to convince our friend Jimmy Kimmel that Gonzaga is real. Take a look. This is him last night. The UCLA Bruins squared off against the Bulldogs of Gonzaga, which I have pointed out <laughs> numerous times is not not a place is in fact this is the scene on the gonzaga alumni bus today uh, headed to las vegas they said it was their best turnout yet but um up in spokane in spokane washington you do have to hand it to them they're really committed to this fairy tale i don't know why it, they have a whole website if you go on the visit page look at this it says there will be times during your visit when you are in a large group of people <laughs> You will undoubtedly see other human students at this definitely real place. Okay, so Jimmy Kimmel didn't stop there. He also said that we say Bigfoot is real up here in the Pacific Northwest, which I mean, true, right? Okay, but the real question, if a group of Gonzaga students roots for the Zags and there's no one around to film it, did it actually happen? Well, good news, we don't have to answer that question today because here's some video of the Kennel Club absolutely erupting after that three-point shot by Strother. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that looks pretty dang real to me at Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, to put an end to the Kimmel rumor, we do want to get Kimmel in Spokane and on the GU campus. But to do that, we do need help from you. So help get Jimmy Kimmel to Gonzaga by using the hashtag, hashtag Kimmel2GU on Twitter. In the newsroom, Nicole Hernandez, Crumb 2 News. Okay, use the hashtag and let us know. And let's uh, blow up Twitter tweet, tweet, with tweet. this hashtag <laughs> and get Jimmy Kimmel to realize that we're real. We need him to come here. And We're maybe here. this could do it. Yes. We exist as much as Bigfoot do. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> well, the Zags are now, of course, headed to the Elite Eight, and they will face a fourth seat UConn this Saturday in Vegas at 5.40 p.m. You can watch that game on TBS. Well, the Sweet 16 continues today, so we want to get you caught up on the schedule. So it is San Diego State facing Alabama at 3.30 p.m. on TBS. Miami plays Houston at 4.15 p.m. here on Krem 2. Princeton plays Creighton at 6 o'clock tonight on TBS. And Xavier plays Texas at 645. You can watch that game here on Krem 2.